so yeah, here we are in Edinburgh. So as you could probably tell, it's not the nicest day for charity shopping in the bus. We're gonna go and see what we can find and then we shall report back. Nice one. See you in a bit. So yes, that was our first stop uh, in Stockbridge. Uh, we went to six charity shops, but we didn't find anything at all. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go somewhere to find ourselves a nice hot tent beverage, I think, and then we will resume after that. Hour later. Yeah, so as you can see, we've had our uh, the coffee and we're just behind the beautiful Edinburgh Castle there on a really shitty day, but it's all good. So, yeah, gonna go find some more ch charity shops. Like I said before, we've not had much luck so, so far, but hopefully, we'll get something and hopefully, I'll have uh, something to show you guys at the end of this uh, the video. So, see you in a bit. down the luck and um, so I think that's about maybe 10 or 11 charity shops I think so far now but we're going to go into a place called uh, the Brunsfield just now and again we'll just have to hope and see if we get any, anything at all please let me get something please so Brunsfield had fuck all so we go again we're going to go to our last stop which is in um, Haymarket and again like I mean we've not had much luck so far and I'm not feeling very optimistic about it but again you will just have to wait and see but yeah Gorgie and Haymarket you are our last stop.
So after about, I don't know, maybe 20 charity shops, like a lost count. Um, but we've unfortunately not managed to find anything in Edinburgh of all was it at the places. Pretty strange, but hey ho, that's what happened. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to where I stay and we'll look in the charity shops there, we probably call it a day. And the sun is um, starting to shine as well, so maybe our uh, the fortunes may change, but again, like I've said about three times now, we'll just have to wait and see in a bit. So yes, it is the day after we've done uh, the charity shop videos. Now, you may have just had to watch this and thought, what was the absolute uh, the point in that? Now, there is one thing to actually take from this, and with a lot of the football creators, like, you know, all the content that myself and everybody puts up, when they do find football shirts in charity shops, Obviously, that's going to give the like the perception that it's easy that you can walk into any charity shop at all and find lots and lots of shirts. Which, in reality, that's not it. Like you know, what you just saw there. That's what I pretty much have to endure nine times out of ten. So it's just to give you guys a bit of insight actually what it's like and it's not as easy and, sh and straightforward as it actually looks so this may have been uh at the pointless uh, like sort of the video for you and um, i do look, look, like apologize for for not uh, finding um much out in the, the, the charity shops but again it was just to give you guys what it's actually like when it comes to trying to find football shirts in charity shops so I hope it gives you like a tiny bit of an insight to actually what it's like and um, hopefully you can maybe take some from that like you know in the situation where if you have kept like sort of uh, searching for shirts in charity shops that you know everybody's the exact same especially for uh, uh, the people like myself that try to document it etc so so yeah, hopefully next time on our charity shop, like sort of um, hunts and such, we'll, um, I'll hopefully find like you know, a shirt to actually show you. But 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 yeah, um, I do hope you did somewhat enjoy this uh, the video. But if you did enjoy it, please smash that like button and also uh, think about subscribing as well. Again, as always, guys, all this uh, support has been amazing so far. So thank you. To you all and I will see you in the next one. You take care. Bye for now.